people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa pasa, what they do. Now, people, this part of the video is called Jamaica is getting from bad to worse. And, people, I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Savlamar. We are speaking about Westmoreland. I am speaking about Row Street to be specific. And it is said that a 58 year old businessman he was taken out, he was slapped away by some gunmen and also a mother and also a three month old picnic. Yes, people, I said three months, not three years. May I talk about three months? May I talk about 90 days or so? Now, people, remember when Jamaica used to be a place where Sunday used to be a holiday when persons went to church and give praises and basically count their blessing. People that have all changed to the worst. And when I say worst, may I talk about worse or a point blank and period. Now, people, based on the information, it is said that at about 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon, these gunmen ran into an establishment owned by a business owner, and his name is Devon Clark. And like I said, he is 58 year old, and they demanded money. And when that demand was not met, they basically called him up, and he was taken out on the spot. Now, people, the truth and the facts that Sunday, um, depending on where you are, it is not really a busy day, especially in the COVID situation. However, people, based on the information, it seems as if these gunmen, they had some sort of information that there was money there. It seems like they might have gotten some information from somebody that is working there and people. I am just speculating once again because that is what you do in blogging. You speculate and give your opinion. It is all opinionative or opinionated. No people, like me said, they demanded the money and when the man did not give them the money, them started to blaze up the man. So obviously, they thought that he was lying. They thought that he was holding out. Now people, when you think about a situation like this, these persons have some nerve, them have some gas, them have some B-A-L-L-S because they were acting as if they gave the man some money to put on. So therefore, them come for money with them deposit in them bank and people, that was not the case, obviously. So anyways, based on the information, it is said that when they roll up in the spot, there was some sort of fight or some sort of altercation, some sort of struggle between the security guard and one of the G-U-N-M-A-N. And the security guard also pick up a tap and pick up a couple rounds. Now people, this is my advice to the security guard and all other security guards that are working out there in Jamaica. Listen, you do not own these businesses and I am not saying that you're not supposed to do your job which is security and make sure that the place is secure. However, you have to know when to walk away. You have to know when to run. You have to know when it is to your disadvantage or not advantageous to you to basically try to take away the gun from a gunman, especially when there are multiple of them. You will lose your life and at worst case, or even we are speaking about get caught up and people will say, in this case, that was the case and he is lucky to be alive because people like me say, based on the information, it is said that at least one or two we are talking about gunmen roll up in the spot and demanded money. So therefore, from them calling him up and basically saw that they had the advantage, they could have easily taken him out. So people, we have to basically give thanks to that. Now people, when we think about the fact that the mother was also there and she was also calling up along with her picnic that is three months, now people, when we think about that, we have to ask the question, where can a little picnic that is three months basically take any sort of con? And based on information, it is said that that con up, it was not life threatening. So people, that is also good news. So people, based on the information, it is said that after the incident, the Pope were calling, the Pope were summoned. And when they got to the scene, they took the mother, they took the baby, and also the security guard to the place of recovery. The security guard and the mother, they were in stable condition. So people, that is good. And like me said, the baby is okay. And people, I don't really know where the baby got any sort of con because the truth and the fact that the baby is just three months, like me said. So people, you would have expected that if it had been anywhere, we are speaking about in the upper body, it would have been problematic. So people, we have to also give thanks for that. Now people, when we think about these new millennial gunmen in Jamaica and how them bare face, it is very disgusting 
it is very disturbing because it shows on the fact that the fact that most of the time these persons are from that era so people what we see is a new wave of thief that basically robbing the same place where them live and people if you know anything about crime or gangsterism you do not s-h-i-t where you sleep however we say that these persons they are desperate we see that they are not extending or expanding their portfolio them basically want thief in the same place where them live them basically want tea from them neighbor so people it only shows you the type of low life that we are dealing with in jamaica and people like we say upon a sunday this happened so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. We're speaking about true Jamaica buzz. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now people, we see so the thief them, they are back at it once again. We are talking about the gold thief. We are speaking about the predial thief. And in this case, we are speaking about the cow or the calf thief. We are speaking about they stole at least two calves. Now people, based on the information, it is that this happened in a place called Claremont in St. Anne's. And it happened specifically on the Rambler main road. And based on the information, it is said that the Pope were conducting some sort of predial thiefing operation when they intercepted a car a motor vehicle and it is said that when they told the driver of that motor vehicle to be a scally pull over and present him documents rate lele blue blah bling it is said that the driver sped away and hit we are speaking about the patrol car and it is said that he was also chased and after them get chased them basically come out of the car and start bust up some can pan the popo so people we are speaking about the predial thief them they are now we are speaking about aligning or linking with the gunmen they have gotten brazen they have gotten bold and they are now taking on the popo as if they are bank robbers as if them are some top thief so people them are thief them are shoot them are try kill any and everybody now people based on the information it is said that they abandoned the car, the vehicle, and when the poor poor rolled up on the vehicle, they found two calves inside of the thing. And basically, them checked the car and run the registration. And the registration led them to a house or led them to two persons. We are speaking about a man and a woman. And it is said that those two persons were arrested. And it is also said that during the time where they had some sort of confrontation, we are talking about shootout with the poor poor, apparently the man also got conned up and he was taken to the place of recovery he was treated and handed over to the popo so people we are talking about two people we are talking about two calf so people like i said the ssp of the era in a saint Anne's, he wants some sort of help to anybody that can identify this person that he is looking for i am speaking about suspect number one his name is terence hartland and he is said to be from saint Anne's bay i am also speaking about a person that is known as country i am also speaking about a person that is known as o'neill and he is said to be from periton I am speaking about a person that is called German and he is said to be from Kingston from a Kingston address and also a next thief and them call him Talman and he is said to be from Wind Windsor district. So people like we see this predial thing is getting out of hand and we see say, the countryman and the town man them are linking up because people you know say town people them teeth like post them teeth like hyena so therefore they are now linking up they are now coordinating their effort. So people, the moral of the story is this. We see that this is a Kingston and country link up. This is a town and country link up. And people, nobody is safe. No goat, no calf, no sheep, no cow, no nothing is safe. Everybody and everything is an equal opportunity target point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up